fourth grade. Today is Monday, April 20th, and I'm going to show you how to create the foldable on, well, it doesn't really have a page because you guys know that page, we have eight, page 825 here, but then the foldables never really have pages numbers on them. So go ahead and do the best that you can to rip it out of your book. See, there's always a little bit that rips and that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. So if you do not have scissors, it says to cut here, but if you do not have scissors, that's okay. I'm gonna show you the old, old fashioned way of cutting without scissors. And it's a secret little trick. Now here we have the directions, see you guys? It's, okay. it's an easy foldable. So this is the trick. You're gonna fold it one way and you're gonna make sure that with your fin two fingers, you're gonna pinch it shut. And then you're gonna do it this way. Make sure that the crease is folded really tight. And then you're just gonna keep going back and forth. Back and forth. This is what I do if I can't find scissors. Okay, so I've done it a couple times. Do it as many times as you can. Okay, so that. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to take this. Now, if you have scissors, just fast forward this. You don't have to see this. I'm going to rip it as. Ah! Alright, bad example. This way I'll do it. Doesn't have to be perfect. It might rip. See, it might rip a little. Maybe I should have folded it a couple more times, but sometimes it works perfectly. I did it on the. I had two foldables, and the other foldable I did it to practice, and it worked. But that's that's good enough. All right. So now I am going to. So on the directions for the foldable, it says to fold on all of the dotted lines. So it's pretty simple. You're just gonna fold, fold any way on all dotted lines. That's just creating creases on the back of a foldable because the back of the foldable doesn't have dotted lines. If you don't want to do this, that's fine. You can just draw the lines. But you can if you want. All right, if you already did this and you're, then you can just fast forward through this part. All right, so now I have, see how it makes like a chart on the back of your paper? Okay, so together we are going to fill out some of these. We have a perimeter section, the drawing of the shape that you're finding the perimeter of, and then the area section. So I'm using a pen, but you should be using a pencil. Um, we have perimeter, two plus five plus two plus five equals 14. So they added the width plus length, width plus length plus width plus length and got 14 feet. And when they found the area of this, we did two feet times five feet is 10 square feet because area is always square. So here's our, the next problem that we have to solve. And it's the perimeter of a shape that has 20 as a width and 23 as the length. So I'm just gonna, it doesn't have to be drawn to scale guys because that would be hard. So notice how my unit of measurement is inches. I hope you guys can see, I'll zoom a little bit. So I'm gonna write 23 inches right here. And then that's one side, which means the opposite side is 23 inches. And then we have 20 inches as the width. There we go, there's my rectangle and I'm putting these remember these corners means that it's a right angle 
So now I have to find the area. So how do I find area? Length times width. So I'm going to do 20 times 23. Okay. So this is why you have to know double digit multiplication. It always comes back. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 2 is 6. Here comes little 0. Your 0 friend. Maybe he has a hat on today. And then we have 2 times 0 is 0. And 2 times 2 is 4. And now when I add it all together, I get 460 inches. I'm going to do it this way. Inches squared. So... Remember in our video from yesterday, I talked. Oh no! For our video, in our video tomorrow, I talked about how this means squared, and we learned this at the beginning of the year. If you put a little two in the corner, really, what it means, it's the squared units. So there's a couple ways to write this. You can write four hundred and sixty squared inches. You could do 460 inches squared. Oops, square inches. 460 inches squared or 460 inches squared written out. Whatever way you want to do, you can do it. You could also just write SQ for squared. It's up to you, like they did here. Oh, like they did here. All right. So I'm going to do the next one with you, and then you can finish the rest on your own. So here's our rectangle and we need to find the perimeter. So obviously I know when I'm finding perimeter of a rectangle like this, I need to add the width plus length plus width plus length or three times two plus 11 times two. Either way, it's gonna get you the same answer. I'll solve this one. 11 times 2 is 22, 3 times 2 is 6, 28 centimeters is the perimeter. All right, P equals 22, 28 centimeters. There's my answer. And then I'm going to find the area. So I need to do length times width. So 11 times 3. And I know that for my three songs and just because I know my multiplication facts, which is 33 a equals 33 square centimeters or 33 centimeters square or whoever however you want to write it all right so you are going to finish this front and back and then check your answers using the answer key on the plans and that's all for today good luck guys oh and ixl <laughs> don't forget about ixl good luck we love the earth, it is our plan